So I was just talking about yin and yang, how I really became an acupuncture. I've been a chiropractor. I got two degrees in acupuncture as well. I've been doing acupuncture for years, and, and then everything kind of fell into place. I I went into this black and white world, and then when I met Martin, uh, he started looking, he would look more at the yin and yang than I had, and I've done a lot of it. I would have lists of what was yin, you know, night, the moon, feminine, uh, dark, yang is light, masculine, simple, and he started talking about the differences between yin and yang, and he started talking about how dense men are. And uh, you can say into a room that men are stupid, and nobody disagrees with it. Uh, some of the intellectual men do, but it's not that they're not intellectual. It's not that they don't have a... It's that they're stupid. They're, they're dense. They, they don't consider things that women do. You, as a basic rule, I know there are some exceptions, but as a basic rule, you can't talk an 18-year-old girl into going and killing a person, right? You have to do it to young boys. They're so stupid. And you can't say to a young girl, look, you're gonna, we're going to put you in this position where you might die. Most of them say, mm, no thanks. <laughs> right? You can say, to, well, okay, I'm invincible. I'll go uh, kill somebody or be, why do I won't be killed? Right? But you have to really demoralize and desensitize boys to do it. But they're easier to work with because they're denser. They're they're. Our skin is thicker, our muscles are buncher, we do not get impacted by the planet like women do. The connection between our brain moves a little slower than women, and it, it causes a density. Uh, my wife and I were doing a month-long training. We were taking it, we were participating, and the women did a training for women to get in touch with their yin, their, their femininity. And... Nicole was very feminine at the time. She was really pregnant uh, with Mia, our first baby. And the seminar was in November, December in Hawaii, and Mia was born at the end of January, so she was getting big. And like I said, very feminine, very in touch with her femininity. Women, women become so cool with their femininity when they're pregnant. And shortly thereafter, and I guess after, I guess that stays with them. But at night, she finished her seminar later than us, and I was in bed, and I was pretty much asleep, and she came up, and she grabbed me, and she set me up in bed, and she said, do you ever have a thought? Now, Richard Jenny used to say, uh, guys, have you ever been accused by a woman of a plot so complicated you were incapable of thinking it up? Right? And I had been. You know, women would say, when you did this, it meant that, and that happened, and this happened, and you think, wow, that, I'm, I don't think I'm that capable, but... Then you would get proud, but that was the wrong moment to be proud because you weren't being praised, you were being accused. But I looked at Nicole, and I didn't know what to say because I didn't know what she was asking me, and so I went for the first line of male defense, and I said, um, what? She said, do you ever have a thought? And she was real intense. And so once again, I didn't know what to say, so I looked at her real curiously, best I could, I best my, and I said, well, what had happened when I talked to her, they had done a role play in this seminar she was taking with just women, and she had become me, and she had gotten into my system so thoroughly that she got in between thoughts. I mean, women's brains go, wah, 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 wah. men's go, gadunk, gadunk. I speeded that up because I'm already at three minutes and 30 seconds. But she got in between gadunks and presumed that nothing ever goes on in here. And I said, no, well, yeah, sometimes I do, I guess, yeah. It's, But it was real refreshing for her. I said to her, I'll invite you into this world as often as I can, as I see it's easier for me to access than it is for you. www.micpeakperformance.com